You know, probably, you know, I, I like to, you know, tell this story too, because, you know, Biggie was one of the, you know, big moments for the source. Absolutely. Um, you know, my boy Maddie C uh, was running the unsigned hype column in a magazine. So people were bringing him demos or mail in demos. We would have a box full of cassette tapes in the office going through trying to find the best ones. And uh, so he had gotten Biggie's demo from uh, Mr. C and um, he loved it and he put it in a magazine. Shortly thereafter, um, you know, I get the phone call from, from Diddy, Puff, you know, back then, uh, everyone called him Puff and Puff was an a and R at Uptown Records. Yep. And he was telling me that they had just given him an imprint for his label that he was starting Bad Boy and he was looking for rappers. And so I went down to my boy Maddie's office down the hallway. I said, you know, who do we got? He's like, oh man, this dude Biggie Smalls is, is, is crazy, you know? And I'm like, okay, bet, send that up to Puff. And he brought it up to Puff and <coughs> Big got signed like a month later. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> and uh, when Juicy came out, you know, and you hear him shouting out the source and it, you know, that was one of the moments where it was really like, man, this is amazing. Yeah. You know, uh, yeah, that was a great feeling to to hear that blaring through the radio, uh, you know, out there. Um, so, yeah, that, that, that was a great moment. With the segments in the source, like, you know, uh, unsigned hype. Uh, what was the one with, with the breakdown of the lyrics? Oh, uh, hip hop quotable. Hip hop, hip hop quotables. Yeah, I know you had the um, the comic in the in the magazine, and yeah. it, it, yeah, we have View from the Underground. That was our first comic. Also, I discovered the Boondocks, uh, Aaron Magruder, and uh, put him in a magazine in the mid '90s. We had the Boondocks in there for for a few years. That's crazy. Yeah. And then that turned out, man, I wish it was back during the Trump era. That, right. Man, so right. much content. We needed that. <laughs> man. Yeah. Um, and then you had, and then also the rating, the mics. Five mics. Uh, yeah. Which, which, how, what, in the, like the, I guess in order, which one, which segments came out first to last? Okay. Um, I think Unsigned Hype might have been the first I, I i got they're all right in the early you know unsigned hype i think the first one was actually in 1990. okay uh and i don't think we had quotable or the mics yet um so i think 90 90 91 is when we start uh rating albums okay one to five ratings but the initial ratings weren't mics it was like uh an exploding kind of record uh, graphic, so you got one to five, but we had the the, the rank, you know, the, the the classifications: one, totally whack; five, a hip hop classic, and everything in between. Gotcha. Um, then we came up with the mics. Probably, I think the mics started in '91, uh, where it actually is microphones one to five, uh, and hip hop quotable had to be right in there, you know, '90 '91 at the at the latest. So all of those were really staples of the magazine that people would go to, you know, every month just to, you know, see what it was. When I revisit quotables, now I see genius with Rob Markman, like how they break down the lyrics and it's kind of like the visual version mm -hmm. of quotable. So it's like when I saw that, I was like, okay, that's, that's pretty dope. Yeah. 